Step into the captivating universe of Dragnet 1967, a TV series that made a lasting impact on crime dramas. In this classic show, Sergeant Joe Friday and his partner tackle crime in a no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point manner. But here's the interesting part. Did you know that behind the scenes, there are many lesser-known facts that might surprise you? As we explore the series, you'll discover funny, shocking, and even sad tidbits that add a new layer to the Dragnet experience. Ever wondered about untold stories or personal anecdotes related to this timeless series? Maybe you have your own tale of how it impacted your life. Share it with us in the comments below. We're eager to hear your thoughts. And when it comes to stories, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this TV gem? Whether it's a moment of suspense or a realization that stuck with you, we want to know. Your stories make the Dragnet journey richer. Ready for a trip down memory lane or a fresh look at this classic? Keep watching and let's uncover the hidden layers of Dragnet 1967 together. We can't wait to hear your stories and memories. Share them in the comments below. The Dragnet 1967 TV series, a classic show from the 1960s, is different from today's crime dramas like Law and & Order and CSI. It might not connect with people who like the tough dramas we have now, but it's a nice change for those who want a different kind of crime story. In this version, Jack Webb plays Joe Friday, a character like the one from the 1950s, but with some changes. The show talks about issues of that time, like drugs, race, and student problems. Joe's partner, Officer Bill Gannon, played by Harry Morgan, is different. He's a regular person who just happens to be a cop, showing that people can have different careers. Unlike Joe Friday, Officer Gannon seems like a normal guy who could do other jobs easily. The other characters, even though they're not in every episode, do well in their roles. The show has different characters in each episode, adding to the overall story. The crimes that Joe Friday and Officer Gannon solve are interesting, with good storytelling in most episodes. People still argue about which version, the 1950s or 1960s, is better, but both have stayed popular and are enjoyable to watch even today. In the realm of Dragnet 1967, where crime meets justice in a straightforward manner, intriguing details lurk behind the scenes. One notable aspect is the famous catchphrase, Just the Facts, Ma'am, often attributed to Jack Webb's character, Joe Friday. Surprisingly, this line was never uttered by Webb, but by Stan Freeberg in a radio parody of the series. As plans for the revival took shape, Webb initially intended to bring back his former co-star Ben Alexander to reprise the role of Officer Frank Smith. However, contractual obligations on Alexander's part with the ABC series The Felony Squad prevented his return. Undeterred, Webb turned to Harry Morgan, who then reprised his role as Officer Bill Gannon from the earlier series, adding a different dynamic to the iconic duo. A notable figure in the series is Clark Howat, who made his mark with 21 appearances, showcasing his versatility by portraying 17 roles, including 12 captains, 4 lieutenants, and 1 inspector. His extensive contributions make him the guest star with the most appearances, weaving a multifaceted tapestry within the Dragnet 1967 universe. The show's distinctive approach to storytelling is accentuated by the varied characters featured in each episode. Officer Gannon, portrayed by Harry Morgan, stands out as a regular person donning the cop hat, reflecting a departure from the archetype set by Joe Friday. This portrayal underscores the notion that individuals can embrace different careers, enriching the narrative with relatable characters. As the series delves into the issues of its time, addressing topics like drugs, race, and student problems, it offers a different perspective compared to contemporary crime dramas like Law and & Order and CSI. The crimes investigated by Joe Friday and Officer Gannon are not merely plot devices. They serve as conduits for exploring societal challenges, adding depth to the narrative. In the Dragnet 1967 universe, Clark Howat's recurring roles, the dynamic interplay between Joe Friday and Officer Gannon, and the exploration of timely issues converge to create a compelling and enduring crime drama that continues to captivate audiences, making it a timeless gem in the television landscape. Jack Webb's decision to revive the series in 1966 was a direct response to the escalating issue of teenage drug use, particularly the rise of LSD. The show, characterized by its no-nonsense approach to crime, played a crucial role in addressing the pressing concerns of the time. A noteworthy inclusion in various episodes was the reference to a real-life LAPD police officer named Lieutenant Klingon. 
Serving as an advisor to the show, Lieutenant Klingen brought an authentic touch to the series. Interestingly, Gene Roddenberry, the mind behind Star Trek, and a former LAPD Public Relations Department member, drew inspiration from Lieutenant Klingon's name when naming the iconic Trek villains Klingons. Adding an interactive twist, Jack Webb encouraged police officers by offering a 25 reward for any submitted story that became an episode plot. This approach not only fostered a sense of engagement, but also contributed to the authenticity of the narratives presented on screen. These behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on the collaborative efforts that shaped the series. Lieutenant Klingon's real-world influence, the unexpected link to Star Trek, and the incentivized involvement of police officers all played pivotal roles in creating a show that not only tackled crime head-on, but also had a connection to the reality it portrayed. In the tough world of solving crimes, Dragnet 1967 reveals interesting behind-the-scenes details that add depth to the straightforward approach of Sergeant Joe Friday and his partner. Their mobile headquarters, Unit 1K80, is a special car that moves around Los Angeles to catch criminals. A unique thing about the show is that the opening speech gives a hint about how long the episode will be. Short stories come with a quick narrative about the city, while longer ones dive straight into the story. This keeps viewers engaged and sets the mood for each crime-solving adventure. In 1982, Jack Webb wanted to revive the show, but Harry Morgan couldn't come back due to his commitments to MASH and Aftermash. They thought about a new partner, Kent McCord, but Webb passed away suddenly and the revival idea was dropped. It was a missed chance for a new chapter in Dragnet's history. During the 1960s revival, the show addressed rising teenage drug use. Lieutenant Klingon, a real LAPD officer, added authenticity to the series and even left an unexpected impact on Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek. Webb asked police officers to submit stories, creating a unique link between real life and fiction. As the series tackles issues like drugs and racial tensions, Officer Gannon becomes a relatable character, breaking the typical cop image. Each episode tells a story that not only entertains, but also explores societal challenges. The collaboration between characters and the teamwork behind the scenes contribute to the lasting impact of Dragnet 1967. In the world of crime solving simplicity, Dragnet 1967 reveals hidden facets that add depth to the straightforward approach of Sergeant Joe Friday and his partner. An interesting detail lies in the continuity of their attire, unchanged in every episode to maintain a seamless viewing experience. However, a clever coat swap between Harry Morgan and Jack Webb, unnoticed by the crew until after the scene was shot, provided a momentary diversion from the established norm. The mastermind behind the revival, Jack Webb, seamlessly integrated the opening lines, the story you are about to hear is true. Borrow would directly from the 1948 film Noir He Walked by Night, where Webb once played a crime scene investigator. Noteworthy is the subtle evolution in the show's title, reflecting the changing years of its broadcast. Delving into the collaborative efforts that shaped the series, Jack Webb's decision to revive Dragnet in 1966 was a direct response to the surge in teenage drug use. Lieutenant Klingon, a real LAPD officer advising the show, not only lent authenticity, but also inadvertently influenced Gene Roddenberry's nomenclature for Klingons in Star Trek. Webb's interactive touch extended to a 25 reward for police officers submitting story ideas, fostering engagement, and contributing to the authenticity of on-screen narratives. In the tough world of crime-solving, Dragnet 1967 unveils intriguing behind-the-scenes details. Their mobile headquarters, Unit 1K80, becomes a distinctive asset in catching criminals across Los Angeles. An interesting quirk lies in the opening speech, subtly hinting at the episode's duration, providing viewers with a preview of the upcoming crime-solving adventure. Despite an attempt to revive the show in 1982, unforeseen circumstances involving the unavailability of Harry Morgan and the sudden demise of Jack Webb thwarted the potential for a new chapter in its history. The missed opportunity marked a poignant moment in the show's trajectory. As the series navigates societal challenges like drugs and racial tensions, Officer Gannon emerges as a relatable character, shattering the conventional cop image. Each episode not only entertains, but also serves as a conduit for exploring contemporary issues, creating a lasting impression on audiences. The collaborative efforts behind the scenes and the teamwork between characters converged to solidify Dragnet 1967 as a timeless gem in television history.